What's up, guys? Jay? Morning, Andrew Kill, And I'm back here on Destiny. And I know, I know, a lot of you guys are probably off activating your agents, starting off your adventures in a division this week. And I, I, I gotta say, I, I tried it last night. And I, I, I ran into some pretty funky glitches. And even a game crash on the first real mission in the game, which restarted all my progress over just kind of deflated all the air right right out of my balloon <laughs> now, i had to take a step away from it last night I'm, I'm gonna give ubisoft some time to sort out some of those issues that people have been having at the start of the game especially trying to clickety clack on that motherfucking laptop i tried that shit for 20 minutes before having to re-log into the game and then wait in a goddamn line to be able to start the game. Ubisoft! Just, it doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? <laughs> but that just means that I'll have more time to level up some of these beasts that Banshee has brought for us this week and to give the new connection-based matchmaking parameters in the Crucible try. Because that, that, that's a thing now. They had a hotfix update in Destiny to go ahead and favor more connection base more heavily than ever before in Destiny. And I'm going to go ahead and give that a try. But if you've already played it since the hotfix, uh, let me know in the comments uh, what your thoughts on it are. But with that said, let's take a look at the packages for this week. Because uh, Banshee's... Uh, Banshee's packing some heat with them this week. And sadly, for those of you holding on to the Hockey Arminus Auto Rifle from a few weeks back, this, uh, this isn't your week to see a rival counterpart to the old Doctrine of Melton Trials of Osiris Auto Rifle. But that's not too big of a deal because when you see the rest of the shit this blue bastard's brought with him, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> including the Hockey Heard ya! Pulse Rifle coming with two very amazing rolls. With the Rank 2 version coming with Crowd Control, Range Finder, and Hand Weight Stock, which I, I would rate as maybe a B plus on the verge of an A minus weapon. You know, Crowd Control possibly could bring you up to a three burst kill in the crucible but since it doesn't last very long and you don't really see that many people in the crucible back to back to get a kill within that three or four seconds that it's active i don't see it being a better pick over the rank three version with glass half full zen moment and hand laid stock for what i'd consider a perfect roll on this weapon Especially since from a few weeks back, the herd I picked up had Zen Moment, Hand Laid Stock, and Head Seeker, which has the possibility to three burst in the Crucible if Head Seeker procs. However, with the tight grouping of the bullets from Perfect Stability, you won't be seeing many shots land very far from the other, making the Head Seeker kind of a redundant perk. But this, this heard you, <laughs> oh my god, this is, it's just absolutely amazing. I, I can't imagine seeing a better roll on any herges than this rank 3 version. Please believe that. <laughs> that brings us to the Soros DIS-47, the same archetype as the Inward Lamp and Deadshot Luna. It's a very high rate of fire, low impact scout rifle. It's usually a very fast killing gun in the crucible when things are working correctly if things are laggy do not pull this weapon out <laughs> and even though none of these rolls come with that full auto that you're gonna want to be looking for on Zero's dis 47 i'm still gonna suggest that you pick up the rank one version which comes rolling with Fitted stock, hip fire, and hand laid stock. And here's here's why I say that. 
It's because Banshee is selling this package once again this week. So this will give you a really nice stability rule on the gun to play around with this week while buying the package again from Banshee, holding on to it, and possibly getting your full auto version in the future. Look, look on the bright side. When you finally do get your full auto version, your finger will thank the ever-living shit out of you after you do. <laughs> and now we have a pair of red-headed twins. The Suros JLB42 and 47 rocket launchers. Starting with the 42, the rank 1 version will be the launcher that you should be picking up with hard launch, heavy payload, proximity detonation, and jab. God damn damn yeah <laughs> pretty much everything banshee brought with him this week is just absolutely perfect it's, it's glorious god damn it. it's glorious <laughs> because as awesome as that launcher is for pvp banshee still remembers good guy banshee remembers that there's still pve guys out there and for those of you guys he brought the jlb 47 with Warhead Veneers, Heavy Payload, Surplus, and Javelin for an absolutely monstrous PvE combination to strap on your back, solving any problems that any Guardians might have had out there prior to this week with acquired a Beast Mode rocket launch for both PvP and PvE. And that finally brings us to the lonely, lonely Queefa sniper rifle. God damn it! <laughs> Banshee did it again. Not only did he bring an Ark and Void clone of the same perfect sniper rifle, but he also brought an amazing rank 2 version as well, making it really a choice of the elements, because you can't go wrong with any of these sniper rifles. I mean, the Zen moment unflinching, high stability perk twins of the rank 1 and rank 3 rolls play perfect to the sniper rifle's high rate of fire, low impact, perfect for not only hitting the first body shot under fire with unflinching, but Zen Moment will now boost your stability after the first shot hit the follow up the body shot with the quickness, giving you a pretty easy kill. But the rank 2 version with counterbalance embraced frame for a full-time stability increase and also partial refund allowing you to gain ammo back after an assist which if you're body shotting you'll be getting tons of assists anyway with your teammates over there scrubbing up the floors cleaning up your kills play that janitor role but also give you more ammo giving you more fodder for your cannon myself i i went with the zen moment unflinching sniper rifle just just because I, I feel like the perks synergize a bit better for what the guns built for it overall makes it a better choice in my opinion but if you already picked up the rank 2 version like i said that is still a damn fine piece of weaponry so my name is jay what did i ever kill i want to thank you guys for watching make sure you guys rate comment subscribe if you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives you motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers to watch my motherfucking bitch. Tell me in the comment section down below. This, this should be enough to get you to log back in for the day to pick up these beasts, maybe play around with it in that new connection-based matchmaking parameters that Bungie has installed this week, right? Possibly... At least to go and pick up these guns, right? You you can admit it. I know you can. Tell me. Comment section down below. My name's Jay. What did I have to kill? Thanks for watching. And I'm going to see you guys later.